this is Adeptus Nubis, and today I bring you a 1v1 between the mech boy and the plague champion. Let's begin with the mech boy being played by Rosta, and you may know him as the organizer of the faction wars. He's playing the mech boy, teleporting ranged commander, um, has some very very nice support capabilities especially with the battery pack that can heal, has uh, some very good weaponry as well, can equip suppression weapon, uh, which is rarely seen in 1v1s though anyway, and then he has some very incredibly powerful support war gear for the late game. On the other side we have the one and only Juwan X playing the Plague Champion, also a ranged commander, can most definitely not teleport, it's very slow as you can see, but do not underestimate this guy, he has a damage over time bolter, which is incredibly painful for orcs early game, and he can upgrade to some incredibly powerful melee war gear as well. So this is a classic matchup where one would say this is heavily in favor of Chaos, but we shall see how this one pans out. So far, very standard opening from both players. I think that's a micro mistake over here with the shooter boys. The heretics tie them up, do blast them, and uh, but the heretics are getting focus fired here. Well, not focus fire, but getting shot up. Heretics not as strong um, as they used to be. They already have a dead mech boy. Not sure how that happened. I completely missed that. I'm guessing those CSM had something to do with it. Uh, maybe Rust lost focus here while uh, microing his shooter boys. But now the CSM are being engaged by by sluggers, which do not have their burners and are now being supported by the Plague Champion and the Heretics. And those sluggers might actually have to retreat. Not sure about this one. They're chasing the they're chasing the sluggers, and he's actually happy to engage. But now he's retreating. Inspiring champion coming in. Yeah, that was definitely the right time to disengage from that fight. On the other side, we do see the big shooters on at least one shooter boy squad. Yeah, there we have it. And he is bashing the generators from Juan X. He's taken out uh, one generator so far. But now the play champion CSM have caught up and are focus firing. One shooter boy squad is getting very low. Losing models. Lost two models already. That's that's not the world. And Shooter Boy is determined here to take down that node as well. Should leave. And they do. Yeah. Mike Boy has been repurchased. No work here so far. Guessing that was a painful one. But since uh, he took out two generators economically, he should be okay. I'm not sure why the Mike Boy did re engage here. These are aspiring champion heretics. They will most definitely win against the mech boy in melee combat. Must have been a mistake here. I think looters would be a very nice option here. But we're probably gonna see noise marines here from Juwan X. Should be a very, very good option here for him since he is playing against the mech boy and double shooters, and so far the only melee threat he has to worry about is sluggers, and he has double heretics and the plague champion, so those sluggers should be no problem at all. So noise marines would be a perfect choice here. Um, we see the death gun. I was talking about it earlier, and now it's actually been purchased. I don't think that this is a really good idea because yeah we do see grenade launchers here and these grenade launchers are going to be devastating to this mainly ranged army here but let's see how this one pans out. It's like it's happy to engage now with the help of this pressing mech boy. Mech boy is not focusing down the lake champ, lake champ he ties him up in another combat. Beautiful grenade launcher barrage here and these sluggers and terrorists. Yeah they were fighting here but I think that the Aspiring Champion Heretics would actually win that fight, especially with the support of Eternal War CSM. Now the Eternal War CSM are surely going to force melee combat upon these shooters. No. Should do so now. Nope, no melee combat. 
and the VPs are already at a huge difference here. 100 VP difference. Rostam off to a bad start here. 382, 480, but it was to be expected. Like Champion is incredibly powerful versus Orcs. But we do have triple gens here up for Rostam. He's going for a very light build and will hit tier 2 faster. But he will have to answer to these Raptors now. These Raptors will surely make the McBoy at least go for the battery pack to support the Sluggers in melee combat with these Raptors. Sluggers will win against the Raptors, obviously, since they have power melee weapons. Um, but they do need support because there's. There's also a sparring champion heretic, so the battery pack would be the perfect uh, purchase here. Or even the pain boy, but the pain boy is. Uh... I'm not too sure about the pain boy. Yeah, there we go. Raptors tying up the mech boy. But the slugger's still in this, and he's taking raptor models here. Now he's overextending his slugger's need to go, because the sparring champion heretic's right there, but still there's the suppressing mech boy. And the mech boy is devastating here to these aspiring champion heretics, but they are happy to engage still. The aspiring champion giving them so much survivability and might lose the squad here on retreat. Plague champion in the meantime shooting up these shooter boys. They do not have a knob, so they will bleed heavily from the plague champion of plague champion. Let's look at his levels. He's already level two, is on his way to level three. And you can see the mech boy is barely scratching that level 2. Pretty bunch of heretics here firing about me. Shooter boys also do not have a, a knob here. I think um, in this matchup you most definitely want the shooter knobs um, over the big shooters because you don't want to bleed to chaos. You don't want to give chaos army any experience whatsoever because it's going to be incredibly difficult fighting a level of sparring champion heretics or a level plague champion plague champion being engaged with slugger boys we see rostam already halfway through to tier 2 joanna x going tier 2 as well joanna x does have the superior armor, uh, army though right now boys bashing this node here and uh, map control is starting to turn around now. We still do have a huge VP lead here for Juwan X. Um, over 200, yeah, 200 VPs now. Stop, stop it though with a one-to-one -one cap right now. I'm, I'm very curious to see what Rostam is going for. Yeah, I think he rushed that death dread. I'm not very sure. I'm not very convinced though that this death rep is uh, going to do what he wants it to do. Usually you want to go for a death rep if you already have a very dominating position. And um, I think he feels like he needs to stop Juwan X's tech progression here. I'm not sure why Juan X is not engaging here. He could just jump in with the uh, Raptors and then follow up with the Aspiring Champion Heretics. He doesn't have the red, I think, for a touch of Nurgle here. Touch of Nurgle would be beastly right now. Let's look at it. Yeah, he most certainly does, but he does not use it right now. And these Sluggers being focused down here by everything in the world. And I think the damage over time bolt is going to finish off these Sluggers. Yes, and they just purchased their knob. If I saw that correctly, which is devastating to Rossum because he really needed those uh, sluggers. And shooter boys go down as well. That is a very sloppy play. No, that's not bullshit. That is a sloppy play here. Uh, we shall see if Rossum can recover from this. It is the mech boy, so. And he does have a death bread. But looking at the. Uh, Economy here from Juwan X exactly. You can just get a dreadlock, which is going to be a nightmare for this Deathbird. So there's only a small window of opportunity left here. This Deathbird needs to disengage following the Plague Champion. He needs to burn down these generators to make sure that Juwan X actually does not leave tier 2. And he's doing so. Mechboy is protecting this Bash here from the Death Dread. 
And the Death Dread is also using ground target. That is very good usage of the Death Dread here. Got one generator already. Got two generators. Gonna get the node in a second as well. He's gonna get the entire farm. And that is very, very good. So. In the end, the Death Red actually did do what it was supposed to do, and yeah, burned down the whole farm. And now he's legging it out of there. Still in range stance though, needs to switch. Needs to switch back to melee. He needs to tie up the melee. Yeah. Nope. Switch. Not switching. Now we see the shooter boy knob, and you already see that it has a lot more survivability. Could have stayed in here. Uh, because it lost only one model, so with, with shooter boys, you always want to remember that you only have two big shooters on them, so you don't need them. You don't need every shooter boy novel uh, model, only the ones with the big shooters. So their main DPS output comes from the uh, from the big shooters. I think that was a mistake here going offensively with the speed ability from the Death Dread. But he. Oh, wow, that special. I mean, he does not finish off the Heretics. Big mistake here. Could have finished off the Heretics, but he has the Dreadnought. Dreadnought is so uncontested right now. He did repurchase the Sluggers. So I missed that. It's a good choice. But now these Raptors do have their Melter Gun, they have their Aspiring Champion, they are a nightmare for Slugs to deal with. You see the Beamy Looter on the Mech Boy, which is a very good choice. Beamy Looter is gonna force the Raptors um, to jump the Mech Boy. And we do see another Death Threat. I think that must be an Overwatch mistake. I cannot possibly be intended. We need to see tank busters right away. Exactly, and there we see tank busters. Rustam on the back foot here. After a very light tier one, he lost sluggers, he lost shooter boys, but he did kill that power farm. And Juwan X actually repurchased everything. That means that I think. 425 requisition at least went into that new, newly built power farm. Could have plague marines out by uh, by now. And there you see the aspiring champion Melter Gun going off, and the mech, the mech boy is nowhere to be seen. Needs to hurry up. Needs to teleport in. Yeah, that would see it. And the beam loot is doing work, and so are the tank busters. I told you guys. The tank busters are going to do it, and the dreadnought is down suddenly. This game is turning around. These aspiring chapter characters need to get the hell out of there. Wow, and the slugger boy mob and the death are demolishing these raptors. These raptors lost their aspiring chapter, and that's huge economic losses here. And the loss of the dreadnought was that was very bad for Juwan X. Rust up on the uh, ascendancy here. Slugger Boy Knobs not yet satisfied. I think they must have leveled. No, they did not get leveled, but they could, after chasing away the play champion now, they could just switch to range stance and kill this power farm, but he still does have the Death Dread. Death Dread almost level 3, and he's going to ground target again. Very good usage here of the Death Dread so far. I mean, it's just bashing, but, but still. He, uh, Russell made it work versus a Dreadnought. Now this mech boy is level 3, switch back to the death gun, that's a thing that many people do not know about, weapon switching, it's very good, and Juan X looks like he's out of this game, did purchase um, a last cannon, it's going to be knocked back by the tank cluster barrage, but incidentally he barraged his own death threat, and with the aspiring champion on the raptors, this is going to be it for this hero, Death Dread. Will also mean that there's no more. Oh, these sluggers. Ah, oh, that's very sloppy. He just let them die here. He really needed those sluggers because these raptors have been reigning supreme so far. But he does go tier 3, and 
since our eco is, uh, let's say, very forgiving, uh, he does have the requisition for knobs, because a tank at this point of the game would be a suicide, considering that there's uh, a last cannon and melted gun raptors. Um, that does not make any sense at all. Plus, I'm not very happy here with uh, the survivability of chaos. Not sure whether that's justified. And those shooter boys are demolishing these heretics. And yes, they rightfully initiate melee combat, but here are the raptors to save the day. Shooter boy knob is actually very decent in melee combat, so if you didn't know that, use that knowledge. And yeah, Rossum is looking uh, rather weak right now. He's on the back foot again, just when ascendancy, ascendancy started. He's on the back foot again. Tank Buster Barrage missing its intended target, the Heretics here. But McBoy is there to cover the uh, retreat of his Tank Busters. Doesn't need to teleport out again though. There is the Doom Blast from the Heretics. Suppressing the mech boy, and now everything is in melee combat and he does teleport out. He's banking everything on these knobs, and these knobs are out quick. And Juwan, who got bashed again, will not make it into tier 3 in the next couple of minutes, so. Bashing is uh, not what you want to do at this point of the game. You need to close down the game harder. You could have capped this or at least decapped this victory point. I do not agree with the usage of these units. This plague gem is very brazen. It's level 4. Wow, it did kill a lot of models. And there you see the power of the knobs. Just a few strokes with those hammers. And uh, like jumping almost dead. Guessing we're gonna see the knob leader and the mean and greener and the huge hammers very soon. Now he goes for commandos. Hmm. Considering that Juan X is using those aspiring champion heretics mainly with his blob commandos could work out well if he does use them on the sides as a back capping unit like destroy Juwan X's economy that could very well work now we see tank busters going for the bash again there's no vehicle for them to take care so they are going for the generators uh, I like this I like this but you see Chosen Plague Marines, we do not, Chaos does not need tier 3, especially the Plague Champion. Going for knobs versus the Plague Champion might have been the nail in the coffin here for Rostam. But as it stands, he does have the center of BP, and again, he does have the majority of the map. These shooter boys who won't stand up to anything that Joan X has are best used for side capping right now. It's a very good usage. And now here are the commandos. Let's see if he engages. They are cloaked. There's the mech boy. And let's see. This is a big engagement. He could have used Laughter Daka into the rock, so he does have enough red. Not sure why he did not do it. But there we see. Uh, what is it called again? I actually forgot. Commandos almost dead. Uh, they are dead. Frenzy, that's what it's called. Frenzy ability. And they kill the aspiring champion heretics. That is a good kill. And they're happy to stay in. And there's the rocks. I'm not sure about that one. I mean, it's easily dodged by hitting the retreat button. But it did take quite a chunk off the CSM. But other than that, nothing really. But yeah, there you see it. And a noxious cloud to really make those mobs go. Did lose two models. 
That's heavy on the reinforcement. Well, he could have set up a nice rock here with the left attacker from the command. Could have gotten Joan's entire army, I think. That could have been a GG move there. Chosen Plague Marines have been changed recently, as you can see they now have 4 models instead of 3, so they are more prone to bleed, but they do still have huge amounts of damage per model, very sturdy. Will leave now though, especially now with the mech boy suppressing everything. Chosen Plague Marines also, I think do not get affected by suppression as much as other units would. And Juwan X is going tier 3. Let's see if this tier 3 is going to help him. I, I don't think that he needs it. I think Blood Letters uh, would seal the deal here because Blood Letters and Chosen Plague Marines and maybe even a melee plague champion would be so much anti mob uh, units that there is just there's just nothing that Russell could do about it. But as it stands he is going for a second mob squad. There's the disruption. Not sure why we are not seeing uh Mark of Zinch with the CSM Mark of Zinch would destroy these mobs, but these mobs are already getting destroyed here by the Chosen Plague. The Chosen Plague units are owning these mobs and there we see a zombie mob model. That's not what you want to see. Two zombie mob models. Wow. That's not what you want to see. But we do have a triple cap here for Rostam and he is turning around this game just by the sheer amount of uh, VP pressure here. And I'm not sure what these grenade launcher heretics are trying to do here. They're not good for bashing. Should rather be used in uh, combat. Ah, that's a mistake here, sending out these snobs on their own. There's still time, there's no need for such rash movements here. And we that's why we don't see the mark of Zinch on them because they have their aspiring champion are now using the slaughter ability. Wow. That is a huge fight here that the plague champ that the chosen plague marines are going to lose. Did not see that coming. We are surely going to see some support of war gear on the mech boy here. I mean, double knobs, this is screaming battery pack and super tough beam. I mean, if not now. Ooh, but there is the Imperial Abyss deleting the shooter boys from this game. Heretic's still here bashing, I'm not sure. Knobs will take this victory point here and uh, turn this into 2 to nothing cap. Juan really on the back foot here. would have thought that these chosen plate marines would have a higher impact, but they do not. Plague Champion really needs to consider going for some anti-melee now. Plague Fist would be boss. Combined with the uh, Mucus Discharge and the Armor of Pestilence, these knobs would have, have a very hard time engaging, especially with the help of the Raptors and the Chosen Plague Marines. So, very nice grenade launcher barrage into the Raptors. He's using Frenzy to escape here. That is a lot of wasted red because. Now he does not have friends anymore, and uh, but here comes the second knob squad. It's not fully healed. It's gonna start losing models very fast. There you see the debuff, yeah, and yep, lose lost two models. 
not a good engagement, but again, that triple cap for Rasta is doing very, very well on uh, playing the objective here rather than trying to fight this unstoppable chaos blob. Um, Juan X now coming out with the tank. Uh, might be Mark of Nurgle or Mark of Corn. Mark of Nurgle wouldn't make a lot of sense because yes, it's going to have many resistance, but it's also not going to do anything against snobs. He does not have the red for terminators. Lightning claw terminators would be absolutely beastly versus these double knobs. Would absolutely shred them. And the damage over time is going to kill these tank busts as well. Very unfortunate. I'm not sure about these flash kits. These flash kits, yeah, it will give Rust and Rain superiority. But I'm not so sure that this is going to be that this is a good purchase. I would have he still does not. That is very unusual. He still does not have any supportive war gear for the knobs. I mean at least the battery package. Come on, do it. But this is a very decisive engagement here. Rostam has taken the lead in victory points. Now we see the touch of Nurgle, touch of Nurgle on these rafters. Going to knock back these knobs. Boom! Everything goes boom. And Rostam will have to retreat here. The chosen plague marines, the tank, and the touch of Nurgle rafters are too much for Rostam. He calls the GG. Wow was on the back foot for the longest time, but double knobs, we remember this is 2.6.1, where knobs are still OP, could not pull Rostam out of this misery that is this matchup, Plague Champion versus anything that is Orc, and has to call the GG. Strange purchases here. No support war gear on the mech boy for the double knobs. That surely had something to do with it. If he had the battery pack and the super tough beam, those knobs could stay in the fight indefinitely. The damage with the with the frenzy, the battery pack, and the super tough beam, the damage reduction and the suppression immunity and the damage immunity and the healing. That even outshines the Plague Champion. And uh, those chosen Plague Marines would have gone down. Or even the Raptors. But as it stands, Juanex, even after getting bashed so many times, receiving a triple cap, and at the end actually being on the back foot VP-wise, did a way better job preserving his units, getting them leveled and then bring them to the end game and Rostam could just not do anything about it there were a few very sloppy unnecessary losses there the mech boy at the very beginning of the game the shooters the sluggers sluggers could have made a huge difference here because these raptors were just running around destroying everything um yeah, it's, it's, it's just very curious. Even a pain boy would have been great because the pain boy <clears throat> could have operated on the knobs. Pain boy could have supported the knobs as well. Could have supported the sluggers. Yeah, a weird boy would have been fantastic here to just take out the chosen plague marines out of out of the fight, and then knobs can focus down on these raptors. There's just a lot of uh, fail, like opportunities just gone by and not taken here. But there you have it. Game is done. GG. I hope you enjoyed this cast and uh, hope to see you soon. Out.